Hey guys, so today I just wanted to do really quick my 34 to 35 week pregnancy update. Um, so this is going to be shorter than my other ones have been, but I did want to kind of keep them a little bit closer together now because we only have four weeks left, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe how fast it's coming. It's crazy. But, um, like, I don't know. I just, the same in one way, I feel like I'm just ready for her to be here because I'm just feeling so big and it's hard to do much. Um, but at the same time, it's like, this is crazy, you know? <laughs> this little girl's gonna change my life. <laughs> it's crazy. So, anyway, um, I haven't looked at my bump app in a while, but, um, it says baby is about 19.25 inches long and weighs about 6.3 pounds, which definitely feels like she's getting big. Um, my stomach is just heavy and achy. Um, most of her movements like hurt because <laughs> it feels like she doesn't have any room, but she wants to keep <laughs> wiggling around, which I'm glad she's active. Um, but yeah, a lot of her movements hurt. Um, but um, thankfully she's been moving more during the day and less at night. Like it seems like she's actually sleeping more when I sleep. So, which is really nice because I need all the help I can get to get a decent night's sleep. Um, yeah, and I'm still sleeping okay, like without any extra pillows or pregnancy pillow type things. Or initially I had planned on getting one of those, but they're just expensive and I just never did, <laughs> but thankfully I'm sitting okay. Um, I will insert a belly shot now so you can see how that's looking. thing that has started like crazy well initially um, acid reflux pretty much hit the beginning of my third trimester like right at the beginning um, but then it'd be kind of off and on and then for a little bit I didn't get it too much but then something like a little, a little bit less than a week ago something happened I don't know why but all of a sudden it got really bad um, like on Sunday I pretty much had it like all day and then when I was trying to go to sleep I just like literally feel like I was choking on acid it's just so gross um, and then the last few days I've had that again um, I had to go to sleep with like two pillows so my head was a lot higher up um, to kind of relieve a little bit of that um, yeah so what else i started having appointments every week now um my first well my first weekly one is because i just had an appointment this week and then i'll have one next week and every week from then on until she's here um so yeah hopefully she comes on time so i don't have to like go more than necessary <laughs> um yeah, so I can't really think of anything else. Um, I have been taking red raspberry leaf to kind of strengthen the uterus and prepare um, the body for labor. Um, the red raspberry leaf on beautiful.com had really great reviews as far as that goes. Uh, people said that when they took it, regularly and like took a lot of it in their third trimester that um like labor went smoother and recovery time was better too so i'm really hoping that helps i mean i won't have anything to compare it to but i'm hoping hoping it won't be too terrible 
Um, obviously I'm no kind of professional, so if you're not sure, ask your doctor. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a lot of red raspberry leaf. Um, right now I've been working my way up since the beginning of my third trimester. So right now I'm taking six pills a day and normal dose is two. Um, but yeah, I've heard of people taking up to like nine a day. Um, so I'm hoping that helps. You can also drink the red raspberry leaf tea, um, but that'd be just really hard to drink like that much tea in a day. Um, and I'm also taking the prenatal from the Honest Company. Um, yeah, so my last few appointments and then my next two so far, and hopefully once after that too, are set with my midwife. Um, so, like I mentioned before, if this girl comes on her due date, she can't be there, so I'm hoping she doesn't, but that's not likely. So, yeah, hopefully that works out as far as that goes, so hopefully she'll either come a little bit early or a little bit late. Um, yeah, so, I really can't think of anything else that I was going to talk about. Um, I do have another baby shower coming up on Saturday. We have our family shower, which I'm excited about, um, at my in-law's house, my husband's mom and stepdad. Um, yeah. Um, I'm hoping something I've been really thinking about doing and is that once I get a new phone, but right now I just have a 4, the iPhone 4, but yeah, um, I'm due for an upgrade. But something I was thinking about, since I really I can't really get a, another camera right now, um, and this one is way too big for <laughs> vlogging, it's just really shaky if you hold it. Um, I was thinking about doing maybe a little bit of vlogging with my new phone, because it's something I've been thinking about doing for a while, and I think it'd be really nice, especially once the baby's here, and just, and I have, I don't live near any of my family, and so, like, I thought it'd be a nice way for them to be able to see her, like, more often, and, like, more than just, you know, pictures or something. Um, so, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on that. I might just do, like, a few little you know, clips throughout the week and then just publish one, like, once a week. Um, yeah. So that's something I'm thinking about doing. So let me know your thoughts on that, if you have any. Um, yeah. So we're right at 36 weeks as of tomorrow on Thursday, which is probably when this will go up. Um, which means we have about four weeks left, which is, yeah. Anyway, I said that's crazy enough. Um, hopefully, okay, my goal by my next vlog, pregnancy vlog, is to have my hospital bag started because, I mean, and I'll probably go late, but, you know, if she was to come early at all, I don't want to be, like, stranded without anything and be like calling my mother-in-law like um can you grab this and this and this and this and this and that and that just be really hard <laughs> so I do want to have a little bit of my hospital bag together um yeah and um the nursery is not completely done but I might insert a clip of where it's at right now um I just have a little bit to do but it's getting there, and I might move things around too, but I don't know yet. So I think that's it for now, and I will see you in my next video. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. You'll just click the little button that says subscribe so you'll know when I have a new video up. And share with your friends. I would appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I think that's it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. So this is where we're at. This is the closet. So it has some of her clothes 
in there. Um, and a lot of um, bigger size clothes that I need to, once I get some out of storage system, I'm going to wash and put away those. Um, and then diapers and wipes that we have so far. And then the rest of the closet is just my clothes because I don't have room in another closet. Um, yeah, and those are just um, some sheer curtains I'd gotten from Walmart. So, yeah. A little bit too long, but that's okay. And then this has her name decal in it that I need to put up on the wall, but I haven't chosen a spot yet. And then her rock and play sleeper. Um, a baby frame I was given that has, um, let's see if I can focus, has a spot for each month. And then her crib, her diaper bag. Um, yeah, this blanket I got on jane.com and I love it. It's super soft on one side and then chevron on the other. Her hamper, which is actually just a Circo storage bin from Target. Um, it was cheaper than a hamper and that was really cute. And it does have like little handles so it can be easily carried. And then I have to organize this more, but um, the 12 cube organizer from Target. Let's see if I can focus this better. Nope. Um, the 12 cube organizer from Target. And then the bins are from Babies R Us. Um, they were on my registry and they were bought for me. Um, and then the changing pad. Just some samples I need to, might put in the diaper bag or something. I don't know. And then a basket. Um, I'm gonna end up putting probably like diapers and wipes so I can have them right by the changing table. But this has, um, a polka dot pink and brown liner that I need to wash, so it's in there. But, um, yeah, so that, that was from, um, Once Upon a Child, so like five bucks. Yeah, and then I have some books for Piggy Bank. Um, I, just, I need to get another one of these baskets, but, um, right now I have like some shoes in there, some bows kind of thing. And I've got her clothes. Um, I've got like sleep kind of stuff. Um, newborn size onesies and diaper covers. Um, some of her smaller skirts. Most of these probably won't fit her right away. I don't have many newborn, but that's okay. These are all the ones I've washed. Um, and then we've got bath stuff, towels, and a robe. And then bigger size stuff in here. Like zero to three month sleepers. And onesies and stuff. And then I just stuck diapers and wipes in here, but I think I want to get some kind of other place to put those um, so I can have more space for clothes because I kind of need it. And then the Baby Trend um, Diaper Champ just came in the mail today from Target. Um, it was a little bit cheaper on there than Babies R Us and they had a discount code for Mother's Day, so um, it was a little bit cheaper. There's some blankets I was given. I love this. It's Jesus loves me. 
Um, and then my nursing pillow from nursingpillows.com uh, came today. Or not today. Uh, last week or something. <laughs> and then just some other stuff I need to put away. And that's on the uh, Lazy Boy um, rocker slash recliner. So it rocks and reclines. So that'll be handy for nursing her. And my mother-in-law bought that um, as well as uh, the crib. So that was a blessing. So yeah, that is where we're at right now. Um, and I just have her cute little J is for Jocelyn <laughs> onesie hanging on the wall because I like to be able to see it. But um, yeah, so I might move stuff around. Not really sure, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Right, Lexi? Right? Yeah. Are you ready for the baby? <laughs> <laughs> 